Hey everybody, welcome back to Going Ballistic. Justin and I just got back from SHOT Show 2023 out in Las Vegas, Nevada. If you don't know what SHOT Show is, you're gonna find out real soon. Justin and I were out there for about five days and we had a blast. It's like the biggest gun show in the world, or at least in the United States. So we did a bunch of different interviews with some new vendors we've never met before and with some of our sponsors. And we wanted to get an explanation from some of our sponsors as to, you know, what got them into doing what they're doing and just check out some crazy new products that are out there for you to get. So this is a two part series. We did so many interviews. It was like, I'm not going to bore these guys for an hour with one video. So we broke it up into two. Well, this is part one of part two. Let's get going. Shot Show is located smack dab in the center of Las Vegas, Nevada. They have over 2,400 exhibitors and more than 800,000 square feet. Now that's equivalent to over 18 acres or enough space to park 547 F-15 fighter jets side by side. And bring your walking shoes people because there is aisle after aisle. We're talking 13 miles of guns, guns, and more guns. They have everything from Bigfoot to backpacks, rifles that fold into a triangle, and muzzle-loading ARs. All right, so we just got done shooting Desert Tech firearms and we were walking through and this thing stopped me in my tracks. I was like, what's an AR doing with a ramrod on it? And so I had to ask, but check this out. It is legitimately a muzzle-loading AR. So what can you tell us about this guy right here? So again, yeah, it's a, it's a legitimate AR, uh, AR-15 semi-automatic lower with a 45 caliber muzzleloader on top. It's 209 primer ignition, um, ramrods on top, so basically it's a muzzleloader. Put your powder in there, put your, your, your bullet, put your primer in, and you're ready to go. So it's definitely not your grandfather's muzzleloader, that's for sure. So this is something I really want to try. And I notice it's not threaded, or is it threaded? It's threaded, yep. That comes oh, up. perfect. So then we were going to have to do a suppress at some point in time. Make sure you comment <laughs> below and see if you want us to do something with this. But this is another thing I haven't seen in person. I know it's been around for a little bit, yep, yep. And, uh, but it's actually a bolt action, legitimate bolt action AR. Like, how cool is that? So I'm sure suppressed, this thing is going to be absolutely insane. Oh, it's awesome. Like we do our, this is our 13-inch uh, Creedmoor suppressed, a thousand yard gun all day long. We've got our little blackout over there on a tripod. Um, so yeah, suppressed, it's, it's awesome. Oh, that's cool. We're going to have to do some long range shooting with this at some point in time. We've got to get our hands on it eventually. But yeah, comment and let us know if you want to see us do some shooting with this. And if you're interested, make sure you reach out to Uintah Precision. So, but these things are slick. And after walking around for a little bit, we ran into the place I hope Justin and I can go to to make a couple videos this year, and that is drivetanks.com. Hey guys, check this out here at SHOT Show 2023. This is Brandon from Drive Tanks. And it's drivetanks.com, and that's exactly what they do. You can drive tanks, you can shoot tanks. What else can you do out there, Brandon? So as you said, I mean, we can drive tanks, fire the main guns. We also got machine guns, flamethrowers, explosives, and probably one of our most newest things and popular, RPGs. You guys got real RPGs out there now. Oh yeah. So, so what is this? What can you tell me about this one? So this one right here, it's one of our uh, demilitarized RPG sevens that we brought in just for demo purposes. But basically, the rockets we're getting are coming out of the Eastern Bloc countries and they're training rounds because these things have like a 30% failure rate. And we want to keep our customers alive. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a good thing. <laughs> yes. So, but yeah, no, she's one of many things that we offer. And I mean, it's an absolute blast, literally. Does so, anybody else in the country do this? No, we're the only ones in the U.S. currently allowing civilians to fire RPGs. I mean, where else are you going to go fire an RPG? You can go to what? You say Cambodia or yeah, something? Yeah, you can go to like Cambodia, maybe a Middle Eastern country, like pay 500 bucks, but they take you out into the jungle. You don't know if you're actually going to do it or get robbed or die. So, I mean, here, <laughs> you're safe. Yeah, you're safe. <laughs> so what do we got behind us here? So, and then right behind us, we have a British Ferret. It is a British armored car from the 1950s, and they were actually used all the way up to the early 90s. So they were heavily used in South America during the Falklands War, in South Africa during their skirmishes in the Middle East, because Britain kind of still offered a lot of troop assistance to those countries. 
So is this one going to be uh, one of those that's going to be something they could drive out there at the yes. place? Yes, we got a little bit of work to do on her because, I mean, she's still fairly new to us, and we want to make sure she's good and up and running and safe to operate because she actually has two drive shafts that sit up right by the driver, and if one of those breaks, it's not fun. Oh, yeah. Huh? So, but yeah, no, we got a lot of work we got to do to her, but eventually, yes, yeah, she will be one of the things we will allow people to come out and drive and play with. Well, cool. So is this a one-man? So she is actually a two-man crew. You have a driver and a gunner and a up gunner. in the turret. Oh, okay. So and this uh, carries a 30 cal machine gun, basically a 1919. Okay. Well, that's pretty cool. Well, guys, if you want to shoot or drive a tank or be one of the first to shoot an RPG, drivetanks.com. Check it out. There's a link in the description below. Thank you so much for taking the time, Brandon. We no really problem. appreciate it. No, thank you all for coming by. All right. So after drivetanks.com, we were walking through and stopped over at Ohio Ordnance to check out their beautiful line of firearms. A little bit more walking around, we ran into our friends at Desert Tech. Hey there, we're here with Nick at Desert Tech, and these guys, if you've seen uh, some of our older videos of using the Desert Tech bullpup firearm in semi-auto, now they got some bolt action configurations. And uh, what can you tell us about this setup here? Yeah, so this is our SRS M2. Uh, new this year, we're, we've introduced a tungsten and black uh, color combination, so we're pretty excited about that. Uh, but the SRS is really known for being a multi-caliber platform. So this, this rifle right here can shoot 308 Winchester all the way up to 338 Lapua Magnum. Uh, it's about 60 seconds to swap from caliber to caliber. We guarantee a return to zero, and it's a half MOA accuracy guarantee as well. So the SRS has really like three different chassis systems. Like I said, this one is the M2. M stands for military. We uh, built this around a military contract that we won a few years back. It has a full length top rail and an Area 419 ARCA locking system on the bottom rail that's integral to that forearm. In addition to this one, we have the SRS A2 standard, which has the same length forearm, uh, just without that top length rail and without the ARCA lock, and then the SRS A2 covert, which has a six inch forearm, so you can run barrels as short as 16 inches. The covert is this guy right here. It's a super compact sniper rifle. So in terms of modularity, the SRS platform is extremely modular, whether it's uh, for size or caliber. Uh, you can really swap back and forth between all of that. Now that is just too cool. Now you can see the, the bolt is way back here. So what length barrel is, is in this configuration right here? So right here we have a 26 inch 308 uh, configuration. But yeah, look how short that is with a 26 inch barrel, just because the action's all the way back here. But I absolutely love that. And then switching calibers is just barrel and bolt swap. Uh, and then Barrel, bolt, and magazine. So on the magazine, all of the mags have the same exterior dimension. So this one's a short action um, caliber magazine. And then we just remove that spacer and increase the length of the follower in the spring for the long action for the magnum calibers. So you would swap this out, swap your bolt out, and then you can see these four holes right here. Those are retention screws. That's what clamps down on the barrel. So you would loosen these about a half a turn, quarter turn to a half a turn, and then on the alternate side of the rifle, there's a locking lug. You unlock that, loosen these, the barrel comes out the front, put a new barrel in, lock it down, tighten them up, new bolt, new mag, about 60 seconds, like I said. Wow, that is just absolutely too cool. So if you guys are looking for a nice long range firearm, make sure you reach out to Desert Tech to see what they can do for you, especially something as versatile as this, so you can cover all the areas you need. So when are you guys gonna send us one? <laughs> well, yeah, we would you, love to, have love to, to try you in that. contact with my people. Yeah, we would people. love to do that. So make sure you comment and subscribe. Well, subscribe, but also comment if you want to see us do some long range shooting with this and see what kind of accuracy we can get. So not only do they have those bullpup configurations, they have an AR that I've never seen anything like this before. So what can you tell us about this guy? So let's start with the magazine. Um, this is Desert Tech's quad mag. It's a quad stack magazine, but unlike traditional quad stack magazines that have to taper down to fit into a standard AR, we designed this around reliability. So uh, there's fewer moving parts. It's a single follower, single spring design okay. uh, that allows for the magazine to function more reliably under heavy suppressed fire or where there's a lot of debris coming back into the rifle. Gotcha. Um, the other reason that this was designed to reduce the number of reloads in a standard loadout. So if we're talking from a military perspective, a 210 round loadout requires seven magazines. Right. With the quad mag, it only requires four. So you're going from six reloads down to three reloads. Now that's insane. Which is now talk about being proficient with the, your ammo there. So yeah, this is uh, super exciting. So once we designed the reliability into the mag, then we built an AR-15 lower called the Quattro 15 to accept the magazine. 
The oh, only man. things that are proprietary on this are the bolt catch and the magazine release, and those come standard with the lower receiver, which will be sold as a strip lower okay. and mag combo. Wow, well, we definitely have to get one of these at some point. Now, look at the, I love that they designed it around the magazine. Make sure, you know, it works well and then design the rifle around it. That is just too cool. So make sure you stay tuned. We're going to go actually shoot this thing. So after signing our lives away and doing a breathalyzer test, safety first, we headed over to the Milo right, indoor shooting that. ranges. These are made out of Connexes and are awesome. All right, we're here with Jeff with Desert Tech, and we're at the shooting range. We're going to shoot the, what is this, the Quattro 50? Or 15, Quattro 15, I mean. yes. All right, I'm so looking forward to this. This is absolutely insane, so. So this is the Quattro 15. It is a uh, Air 15 lower receiver. You can see that great big magwell is designed to, it also has a plastic snap-in magwell insert, so you can use regular PMAG oh, or okay, whatever Oh, okay, yeah, else. that's that's what I was so. thinking. I was like, that might be a, a downfall if you already have a crap ton of PMAG. Yeah, but exactly. I mean, people cool. people would never have forgiven us had we not made that an option, so. Yeah, but yeah, you my can... rifles I always end up adding like the, uh, what's that, the, the bad lever? The bad lever or yeah. the, the Troy version of it, but that's it's all built into there. That's exactly, cool. so it's all built in. Those parts are uh, proprietary. Those aren't standard AR parts, but they are included when you buy the receiver. Oh, cool. So we're gonna be selling this thing. It's $249 for the, for the receiver, and it comes with one magazine. Magazines are $45 each. Now that's affordable, I love that. Yeah. Can't wait to get one in my hands. <laughs> are you? Oh, let's do it. All right, sounds good. So we're gonna shoot, actually shoot the full auto version of this because okay. Otherwise, this video is going to be too long. We don't <laughs> yeah, want you on it's here be for a lot of... all afternoon pulling right. the trigger, right? So, this is the this is the Infinity 16, so the full auto version of it. Oh, so, all right. And then we're going to have you shoot the uh, 53 round. Oh, I'm getting giddy right now. All right, man, look at that! All those rounds and no reloads. You're totally cool if I go full send, right? Uh, yeah, as long as you're full, as long as you're good with it. All right. I just love the fact that I can just do that. There you go. All right, what the hell am I shooting at here? Just right down the middle. Down the middle, all right. Oh. Woo <laughs> man, I wanted to do bursts, but I couldn't let off. I just loved it too much. Oh, man, I wanted to enjoy and savor it and just kind of yeah. just rip them off, but no, no. Even in full auto, it goes for a long ways. Man. You'd be surprised if you were doing just bursts. You know, if you're just doing ba-bang, ba-bang, ba-bang or something like that, it, it goes for a long time. Right? Yeah. Man, that was just, oh, I am so excited the rush I'm feeling from this. We have to get one. Like, I'm going to get rid of all my lowers and just switch to this. This is just too cool. <laughs> Man, it's toasty. Yeah, that's Feels hot. good, though. Yeah. Man, can't wait to. The thing is that I only have to shoot that way, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> all right. She's going hot. You guys ready? Ah! Giggle switch. One more click. Here we go. That's the giggle switch. <laughs> it just rains brass right after that. <laughs> smell it, man. Just smell it. Love That's it. freaking awesome, man. Thanks, Jeff, so much, you dude. Bet. We really appreciate it, brother. You bet. Awesome. All right. Make sure you check out Desert Tech. Then we checked out some barrel painting robots and ate some overpriced pizza. Then we decided to stop by one of our favorite sponsors, Long Shot Camera Systems. Hey guys, I am here with one of our favorite sponsors, Long Shot Camera Systems. This is Cameron, and this is the camera system here. So, what got you guys started on wanting to make this system right here? So, it all started with uh, Clay, our founder. Um, he had an AR, he wanted to go to the range, he didn't have a spotting scope. Um, so he had background in uh, video cameras and um, monitoring software. So took that information, took that, that hardware, went to the range, piggybacked the system together and figured out how to see his shot downrange using video cameras. Um, so fast forward eight years, uh, this is our LR3 system, third generation. Um, now it's all app based. We have our own long shot app. Um, and so each year, you know, new features, new hardware, uh, better cameras. Um, so now uh, this is our newest feature here, uh, the shot group calculator. So as you, uh, as you shoot, as you mark cool. impacts, um, the system actually tells you 
what your corrections to center are. Um, so extreme spread on the left, and you can do that in inches, minutes, centimeters, mils. No kidding. Um, yeah, and so as you mark your shot, like here in the notes, so if you're shooting with your buddy, we can put, you know, this is my information, this is the load I was using, the gun, the caliber, whatever. Um, and then on the same piece of steel, you can start shooting and we can measure and mark your groups all at the same time. So it's like your own little digital dope book you can put It's your right own in dope there. book, yeah. <laughs> and so you can take pictures and screenshots. So like this picture was from, you know, a year ago. And so I can go back and I know that I was using a 300 Norma. I know where I was. I can, you know, go back and you can even list the weather data if you want. Yeah. Um, it's all in a notes folder. You take a picture of that. And all this information lives in the long shot app in the gallery so you can go back and always look at it cool so is there any other camera system that you know of in the world that that matches this thing because this thing is two miles yeah so it's line of sight right yeah what's unique about the long shot system um, is we have a patented go the distance technology um, and so it's directional wi-fi so receiver camera those two pointed at each other we get that confirmed two mile guaranteed range. No one in the industry can touch that two mile range. And that's anywhere in the world. You don't have to be somewhere where there's cell service or not, right? Correct, yeah. All of our cameras emit their own Wi-Fi signal. So whether you're in the sticks or you're in the city, it doesn't matter. So is this the only kind of system do you guys sell or do you have any other kind of so, stuff like? So this system, uh, receiver camera, we call it our LR3 system. That's our two mile system. Uh, that's what you guys have been playing with. Um, the camera by itself, we call our marksman. So that has a 300 yard max range. Oh, okay. um, so it's a great system for someone who's just getting into shooting or maybe lives in a, an area that can't really shoot that far. Um, the Hawk is, is a cool product. Um, and so that's here. So it actually mounts onto your spotting scope. Um, so you take the long shot app, you, you take all the technology that we just discussed in the app uh, and it actually fits right onto your spotting scope. So it's a pretty universal mount, so it'll fit a wide variety of different stuff. Oh, that's pretty um, cool. Uh, it, and what's the what's the price difference between something like that and something? Because I know you guys were saying that you can buy just the one camera for an entry right, right. level. You can go the full Monty here and get the two mile range. Right. And then there's that one there, which I hadn't seen yet. Yeah, so you're looking at eight ninety nine dollars uh, retail price for the LR3 system, four forty nine dollars for the single camera, uh, and two forty nine dollars for the spotting scope. Oh, that's a good, and that's a yeah, good, it, even a better a, entry thing. For so, sure. Because uh, you can get it, spotting scopes for fairly cheap. That'll, right. you know, be pretty good range of vision. Right. Now, the only disclaimer on the spotting scope is you're looking through your optic, so you're at the mercy of your spotting scope. Um, versus this. Versus this, which is downrange, 20 feet from your target. You know, almost 3K megapixel range on this. Versus? Uh, versus the yeah. mercy of your spotting scope, so. What kind of uh, warranty systems do you guys have with this? So we got a two year manufacturer warranty, but we, uh, as people ask, this is not a bulletproof system, uh, but we do offer a bulletproof warranty. So for 40 bucks for two years, you shoot it, you drop it, you break it, whatever. Uh, you send it back, we replace it, no questions asked. That's a pretty good deal, it's man. It's cheaper than steel and building a berm and a lot of other <laughs> Absolutely. options. Absolutely. Yeah. That's 40 bucks. That's cheaper than the insurance for my iPhone. For sure. <laughs> um, yeah, and our, our chief of operations wants me to make sure that, you know, I say that if you shoot it the first time, you're going to have to re-up your warranty. Uh, right. It'll, it'll yeah, get you okay. another two years. It doesn't, doesn't keep... Yeah. Keep on for the same time yeah, you keep shooting the camera over shots and over. in the same yeah. year. Yeah, you right got to replace that warranty. Well, cool. We appreciate your guys' support to our channel. Absolutely. And uh, we wish you guys all the best. And we're going to be putting out a long shot video here pretty soon where we're doing some mountain shots about 1,300 yards, 800 yards, yeah, and you're stuff like out, that. Busting so. out the 338 Lapua. You're going to bust out the yeah, 338, man. You fun. know it. Yeah, so. that'll be fun. Y'all stretch well, it. Cool, Cameron. Yeah, I really appreciate you. your time, man. Absolutely. All right. Well, thank you for watching everybody. This is part one of a two-part series on SHOT Show 2023. Hope you guys enjoyed it and make sure you check out the second episode. It's coming up here pretty soon. We'll be back.